Hey everyone welcome back to a new tutorial, today we are going to do this. Go to Edit, Preferences, Select Add-ons, Make sure Arch Pack and Arch Mesh is on. Now start by deleting everything. From Add, Shortcut Shift A, go to the Arch Mesh and select Room. Press N to enter the Arch Mesh settings, we need to fix the height thickness, and the number of walls. Set the height to 2.7 meters, thickness to 0.2, and number of walls to 4 for now. After that change the length of walls to fit a room, 4 by 6 meters. So as shown fix 3 walls then hit the close option, you may need to change number of walls to 3, hit inverse to make the thickness to outside. Add floor and ceiling. Inside the room, start by the wall trims. Select the faces then add a thickness by any method you want. Press E to extrude as shown. Then, to add, a door, from add, go to arch mesh, select door, place it near a wall, minimum distance is 5 cm from the wall, we are going to edit it place later after adding furniture so for now just put it somewhere it fit. Pressing, Z will switch you between views. So the wall intersecting with the door, adding boolean will fix this, so in arch mesh just go to its setting, and hit auto holes, this will add a boolean modifier to any arch mesh object intersecting with the wall. To trim the wall trims in the door area, select the wall trims, go to modifies and add a boolean, from the object, take the pin, and choose the box, move the door until it looks right. Now to the wall trims, press tab to enter edit mode, so we need to add some smoothness to the edges, this object has solidify modifier add to it, so we need to apply it first, then select the edges.
Go to bevel and select it, shortcut for it Ctrl B, move your mouse so the edge has a chamfer distance first, then with the mouse wheel add more edges. And from the wall trims to the door, let us smooth some edges, select the door, press, tab to enter edit mode, select the edges you want to chamfer, then press Ctrl and B, press and drag to see the edges chamfering then with the mouse wheel add smoothness. Now go to the outside. We are going to add some windows using arch pack add-on, press shift A to open the add panel, go to arch pack, select windows, Press N and you will see the arch pack window settings, you can model your window here. After that, to placing it, select the window. One way to select it all is with the right click on the window collection, and choose select objects, so do the basic transformation, rotate it by pressing R, move it with the G, use the shift for more accurate movement. So place it into the wall for now, to empty the wall part intersecting with the window we are going to use boolean modifier again, first we need a box surrounding the window, place the cursor on the window, create a cube, scale it to fit the window dimension. After that, select the wall. Add another boolean, take the pin, and select the window cube that we made, to hide the cube, you can go to transformation tab, from the viewport display, select display as wire, you can also just turn off the eye icon for the cube. So, I am doing some fixing to the window position. After that, to copy the window, select it and the boolean cube, you can select multiple objects by holding shift, press shift D to copy the selected objects, move it along the axis of the wall, you can stick with one window, just make it big. Now, we need to add another boolean to the wall for the second window, as before, select the wall, go to modifiers, add boolean, take the pin and select the second window boolean cube, we might need to add a lot of boolean objects, so, let us make a collection, it will make it easy for us to hide all the boolean object. Now select the windows and move them again. I am going to add another ceiling, so, from the front view, press Z to enter wireframe view, select the ceiling, press Shift D to make a copy. 
press Z to move it along the Z axis, this ceiling will be 20 centimeters below and will hide curtains and hidden lights, so, for that, we need to move the edges, while selecting the hidden ceiling, press tab to go to edit mode, from edges selection, select the edges to the windows side, move it to the inside 8 centimeters, the edges to the door side will stay as it's, the other two edges, move them to the inside 5 centimeters, you can change this values in a range between 4 and 10 centimeters, Take a look to the room, move the windows down a bit, just leave some place under the windows, and 80 centimeters will be the minimum distance to leave. Before wrapping this part, let us add a light, go to top view, you can use the number pad to switch between views, so from the top, go to add, select sun from the light panel, use G and R to move and rotate the sun so it face the windows side. Before editing the light setting, go to the EV setting, check ambient occlusion, check bloom, and screen space reflections, now to the inside, some light bleed we see, easy to fix, first add some power to the light. Now back to every settings, from shadows, change method from ESM to VSM, check high bite depth and soft shadows, after that, to the sun settings, in shadow, softness all the way down to zero, experiment with the bleed bias, a value of 0.2 mostly work. Now if we hide the hidden ceiling, we still see some light bleed, that's due to the ceiling has no thickness, so, select it, go to modifiers, add a solidify modifier, switch to wireframe view for better look, a thickness of 0.2 will do the charm. But still we need to expand the ceiling over the walls, press E to extrude it, it won't matter because it won't appear in the render. So the windows glass has non-transparent material. From the top drag to open new view window as shown, select the window, and in the materials, select the glass material, if you don't see the material in the shading editor, make sure to check use node, and from view select view all. Easy shading just watch, delete the PSDF, shift A to open the add panel, add a glass PSDF shader, add a transparent PSDF shader, we also need a mix shader to mix those two.
After that, from the material setting, check screen space refraction, change the blend mode to additive, change the shadow mode to none, now this is a good looking glass. And you can experiment with the mix shader factor for better looking, but I am going to add some node to it, shift A and type light path. I need the shadow, diffuse and glossy rays, this will make the glass look as it should to the camera but not to the sun, so we do not end up with too much noise, it is as if the glass do not exist from the sun perspective, so to add those to the factor input, we need two math nodes, connect them as shown, and that's it for this part, stay tuned for the next one.